Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to fat people on TikTok. What I eat as a fat person that doesn't strive to be smaller. Leftover taro rice cake. So for this it's got it's got simple carbs which are good for exercise but I don't think she's doing much exercise. Um, the taro cakes they may have shrimp in them Recipes online show that it's got shrimp, but still, this is not the best thing to have if you're overweight. Cherry, banana, pineapple, and flaxseed smoothie in a sippy bowl. It's good to see that she's eating fruit, but it still looks like such a small serving. Like, that'd be enough for a normal person, but for an overweight or obese person, you need like double that amount. I see you enjoy giving creepy looks to people. Chickpeas and kimchi over rice. So it's good to see that there's some more healthy food. You know, rice is very calorie dense. You know, but if you're having vegetables, I have beans, legumes, kimchi, which is cabbage over it. It definitely is a healthy snack. I freaking love trail mix. I know she's not trying to lose weight, but that small portion right there, that would be like 600 calories. Trail mix is really calorie dense and unless you're actually going up hills you shouldn't be having trail mix in my opinion tofu veggie noodle soup is all i want lately love you bye so for this what i eat in a day as a fat person it wasn't actually that bad. You know, you had a lot of healthy food in there, chickpeas, kimchi. You had some really good stuff in there. You know, the rice wasn't a big issue. But she honestly didn't need to have the nuts, in my opinion. What I eat in a day as a fat person who does not want to eat healthy and does not work out to lose weight. It's good to see that you're going ahead and getting some cardio in. For breakfast, I had a sparkling apple Celsius with two vegan donuts. One was a berry and cream flavor and the other one was birthday cake. I actually used to hate donuts before discovering this place. Who knew vegan ones could be so good? For the vegan ones, I noticed that they're usually a lot more high in sugar and fat. I didn't really like this one. It had chocolate on it and I'm not a huge fan of that. And of course, I didn't think about that before I bought it. When I got to work, I had watermelon with a sparkling water, and then I also ate some pineapple with it. It's good to see that she's having fruit that has a high percentage of water content, and that it's low in calories, it will go ahead and fill up her stomach, so she won't go ahead and eat as much. For lunch, I made my infamous scallop quesadilla with broccoli. You guys love my quesadilla recipe so much. It's good to see that she's got some low-calorie vegetables, such as broccoli. So this is the one I made for my boss. It's an all-vegan quesadilla with carrots, mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, and vegan. That actually looks nice. I might have to go ahead and make a low-calorie version of that and try it out myself. Of course, it would not have vegan cheese. It'd have real cheese. Cheese. For dinner, I had pineapple with a red bee soup and rice and a sparkling water. What she's eating isn't actually that bad. You know... Like, she could have more protein, that would make it more filling for her. But other than that, this is actually quite good. Then I had this strawberries and cream Mexican popsicle. It ended the night with a bowl of cereal before bed. When I think of dinner, I don't think I'll go ahead and grab some cereal out. Bye besties. So for this what I end day, it was pretty good. It was decent, not amazing, but 
it was decent until the cereal for dinner. Don't have cereal for dinner. You're just going to be very hungry in the morning. And plus, it's not a very, a very filling meal. You know, you need some protein. You need some fat. You need your carbs. And that's the end of that chapter.